Well, more than six months after Hurricane Ian made landfall, new report shows the storm was deadlier and more dangerous than previously thought. The National Hurricane Center has received the storm's category, revised rather the storm's category, making it one of the strongest hurricanes to ever strike the state of Florida. For a full look at those latest numbers, we turn to Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera. Ivan. Yeah, you know, they do this every season, uh, guys. They go back and uh, take a look at the data, data that perhaps wasn't available, and they really do a deep dive and decide, well, what did we have before it hit? What did we have when it hit? And when it comes to Ian, what we had was a Category 5 hurricane. This has now been reclassified. Now, importantly, the Category 5 classification happened before it made landfall. So Ian still made landfall as a Cat 4 with 150 mile an hour winds, but it did reach peak intensity of 160 mile an hour winds as it was offshore. And then, of course, came roaring in. But, you know, the difference 150, 160, obviously you saw what the storm surge can do, and that is always devastating. Hurricane Andrew, by the way, and Hurricane Michael in recent history, those are the two Cat 5s that have uh, stricken the uh, state of Florida. That made those both, of course, made landfall as Category 5s. And Andrew, we thought was a Cat 4. They did the reclassification, and just like Ian, it ended up being a Category 5 as it hit Miami back in 1992. Stronger than we thought, mm, right? Indeed. I, now, we know it's only April, but June will be here before we know it. What are you seeing in terms of the upcoming hurricane season? Yeah, we'll have an official forecast from NOAA coming up uh, next month, and we were talking a little bit about this earlier. So what has happened here is well, we talk about a, a lot about La Nina. You've heard of La Nina. That is the cooler-than-average Pacific waters, right? That tends to favor an above-average season. We've had a triple-dip La Nina. Well, guess what? La Nina is over, and it is forecast to flip. Those waters are going to become warmer than average. That is in El Nino. And what happens with that? Well, we get unfavorable winds that cut across the thunderstorms that try to develop into hurricanes. So you get above average activity in the eastern Pacific, but you get below average activity in the tropical Atlantic. And we'd like to see that. But just like I tell everybody every year, obviously it only takes one. Remember, Andrew was in an El Nino year. It was the first storm, the a storm didn't hit till August, and it became, of course, uh, what we now, uh, you know, think of hurricanes uh, as hitting Florida. That became the marker there, as did uh, Michael, and now Ian, guys. Hmm. Well, I'm still going to take this as good news. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but hard to believe. Here we are again. I'm still getting over the last yeah, few. Before storms. you know it, right? Yes. We'll get you ready. We'll be prepared, <laughs> and uh, we'll be ready to go. Thank I know you. you will, Ivan. Thank you.